اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Higher Order Construct Analysis Using EMOS In the last session, we had a very simple higher order construct and we assessed its impact on another lower order construct. In this case, I have tried to make a more complex model with lower order constructs that is your IV, your DV and the mediators are higher order constructs. Now, the first step as always is your assessment of reliability and validity. Now let's say we have already done the assessment of reliability and validity and model fit at the lower level. And this is what you do as we have done previously in the other videos. The link will be shared in the description. Now if you've got higher order, now you have to test for reliability and validity at higher order as well. So let's say this is my model and I'm going to test the reliability and validity for this. Now the same procedure will be applied as we did in the last session with one higher order construct. Now in this case, we have got two. Nothing changes, the procedure remains the same. So you will follow the same procedure. In this session, I'm interested in assessing how to perform mediation with higher order constructs. Now that you have done the lower order construct, you have done the reliability and validity for the higher order construct, the next step is to check for structural relationships. Now how do we do this? So let's have that model. Now here is my model. This is my IV. These two are my mediators and these two are my DVs. Now I have defined the paths here. This is my A1 from my independent to my first mediator and then B1 from my mediator to my DV. This is A2 and this is C2. This is again the direct path and this is A1, B2. So the path from servant leadership to IC to the two DVs are referred to as A1, B1, A1, B2. The path from servant leadership to the second mediator and then to the two dependent variables are A2, C1 and A2, C2. Now the first step is we need a user defined estimate to obviously to calculate the indirect effect from SL to IC to CS. So what I've done is I've got this estimate here. If you go to edit estimate, okay, let me load it, file, open, estimate okay it's empty so let's create one it's pretty it's pretty simple let's do the first one so that is your indirect from sl to ic to cs so what is it it's a1 multiplied by b1 sl to ic sl to ic is a1 multiplied by ic to cs ic to cs is b1 so we multiply b1 here a1 multiplied by v1. Let's copy this. Let's paste this here. Let me move this one here a bit closer. Now A1, B2. Why A1, B2? Because SL to IC is A1 and IC to LG is B2. So the indirect paths from SL to IC to the two outcomes will be created like this or calculated like this. Now again SL, CSR, CSR, we need to change the DV as well, LG, and this is LG as well. So SL to CSR is A2, and then C1, and this is your C2, and this is your A2. Now you have created the user defined estimate. Is the syntax all right? Let's click. Syntax is OK, and yes, and now we are ready to run. But before that, just go to your analysis properties, go to your output, make sure the indirect effects are selected, make sure you've got standardized estimates, go to bootstrap, I'm performing 5000 as recommended, bias corrected confidence interval, 95%. Cross it and we are good to go, let's run. Now the model did run fine, minimum was achieved, let's go to the output. And again, a number of times I've been asked this question, do we need to assess the model fit at higher level when checking the structural relationship? Yes, you have to. Now again, go to estimates and this will show you the direct relationship between the variables. Look at this. Servant leadership CSR, significant, significant, significant. So you can choose any relationships that you are interested in here. Now, 
In this case, let's say, let me move this a bit here. Now look at this, the impact of servant leadership on intellectual capital, servant leadership and intellectual capital. Here it is, it's significant. Again, I see on CS, is it significant? Here it is, it is significant. These are the direct impacts. Now I'm not, for now, I'm just interested in mediation analysis, specific indirect effects. So where are the specific indirect effects? Now we created estimates, just as we have done previously in other videos. So go to estimates, scalars, user-defined estimates. Look at this. These are the indirect effects, but are they significant? These are estimates, indirect effects, but are they significant? Go to bootstrap confidence and again, two-tailed significance. In this case, all of them are significant. So the impact of SL on CS through intellectual capital is significant. The impact of servant leadership on this variable through IC is significant. The impact of servant leadership on CS through CSR is significant. And finally, the impact of servant leadership on this variable through CSR is significant as well. So all these are significant. Now here is the lower and upper bound confidence interval, bias corrected. Now these are the estimates, again, the same estimates. Now this is your standard error. Obviously you can get T values if you divide your estimates by your standard errors. And this will give you the T values as well. You can have your, if you go to matrices, and you can have your unstandardized and standardized indirect effects as well. So here are your indirect effects. And that is your indirect effects from servant leadership to customer satisfaction. Obviously this will include both the mediators. That's why we created user defined estimate just to have separate indirect effects. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to perform mediation analysis with higher order constructs. Thank you very much.